Hey everybody, welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games, OMG. This is Michael T. Bradley. And Skixmatics. And we are here to continue on with Indigo Prophecy. Or Otherwise Fahrenheit. Known, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. The Fahrenheit. laundromat, the oh, one yeah. in New York City. Every day it got a little colder. The whole city seemed to be numbed by the snow and ice. But nobody was worried about it. Yeah. What? That doesn't... Everybody goes to the laundromat when they need to do their laundry in New York. Wow, Tyler did a horrible job parking there. <laughs> Go take a look inside, Tyler. Yes, I'm Max Payne did winter. See if found anything. Did winter as cool well. with me. I can't even think out here in this damn cold. Game. This damn cold. This fall on CBS. Ah, I was waiting for you, Carla. So, what happened here? The guy who runs the Lavamatic found the bodies Lava around Matic? five o'clock this morning when he came to open up. When he tried to get in, it seemed like the that's door not was a police line. That's a police. He saw the two Solvers. bodies through a window and called the cops. Kane. What do we know about the victims? The man was called Jose Lopez. He works here and was supposed to close up last night. The woman's name was Anita Martinez. She did her laundry <laughs> here on a regular basis. I like how he made a real effort to pronounce that Do you in think there's like a, link a good to Hispanic way. Yes. The woman died from three knife wounds to the heart area. It happened in a public place and with no apparent the motive. The heart area. Sound like Kane to you? Thanks, Garrett. It looks like that sign in the laundromat said Clonopin. <laughs> um, that would be an odd thing for it to say. Yeah. Oh. A knife stuck in his eye. Yeah, we had noticed. Death would have been instantaneous. How do you so know I... that? She's seen it before. Is that a bonus card on the ground his there? His wrists are all cut up. Looks like some kind of symbol carved on them. A snake. A snake with two heads. Alright, mouth of the serpent and all that. Yada yada yada. Did you notice this blood over here? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. What do you think it means? That the murderer was bleeding before he stabbed his victim. Just like in the toilets of the restaurant. It's an ugly floor. And yeah, this is it's not a pretty game. I mean, just in general. It's kinda it's got like a real like seven wannabe motif, Three you know? Steps, yeah. Kind of desaturated exactly and like the victim in the restaurant. They keep the area the of the heart. That the arteries let's just severed. let's just go ahead and say heart. The aortas were severed, really? Then this is like more than just kind of the heart area. It's more than I would expect her to be able to see just from looking. Also, I don't think it's fair having a bonus card that you can't even see. Knife is stuck in his eye. Wow, thanks. Damn, that's got to hurt. No Let's get Martin in here and have him go. <laughs> knife stuck in knife, knife is stuck in his eye. I wonder if that's another steak knife from the diner. Maybe. I don't know where he got a she knife. She stabbed from the front. She found out who it was at the, the very Martin last down. moment. We can still hear the dial tone. She must not have had time See, to kids, dial back in the olden days, there was a thing Bad. called a we dial a live tone. <laughs> Man, I don't even remember that. Oh, let's go. We got the bonus card. Someone was talking to me about listening to static on the radio, and I realized... That's not something anyone experiences anymore. Mm. Bizarre. Why is there blood here? Taking time for a television to warm up. Is this you know, where just he all cut sorts of things that are. Yep. Kane left some blood in the toilets too. Did Kane cut his arms up too? Now it takes time for my television to boot. Having to go rub the dog around on the outhouse toilet seat, get it warmed <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> the knife has the same hand hush, as whiskers, the hush. <laughs> hush, puppy. <laughs> come from this <laughs> Now 
And that photographer just cannot get enough of that I've woman back enough. there. What are we supposed to think about this? So anymore? sassy. The guy committed suicide after killing the woman? It seems absurd, but it's the only explanation. I don't think Kane had anything to do with what happened at the Kane! Oh, for seeds of doubt. The same. There's got to be a link between Laundrette, lava matic. Nobody wants to call it a laundromat. I had nowhere to go. I was exhausted. I felt like I was gonna die. Either from the cold or from hunger. Laundromat's one of those I words that I that's rest for a couple of hours a day. Uh, trademark. Get my energy back. Better and treats it as a job. What to do next? I don't know, but they it said the laundromat on the screen. I had a vague memory of exactly where it was, but I was sure that this like was like dumpster. The right. For the longest time, I cannot figure out why my uh, why Microsoft Word was so dumb that it didn't recognize the word dumpster. <laughs> and realtor. Yeah. Which annoys me. They have to have passed the realtor test, though. I get the feeling yeah. they're everywhere, and they're watching me. Otherwise, they're a real estate agent. <laughs> I must be getting paranoid. Right, in my writing, they're always real estate agents, because I, I don't approve of the, the realtor. Right. Are they real estate agents studying for their realtor test? I don't know. The police. They're watching Tiffany's apartment, of course. It doesn't come they up that often. They assumed that I'd show up here looking for a place to hide. When I write, I only write about real estate agents. <laughs> and dumpsters? Right. Uh, I stopped paying attention for a minute there. What's he doing? He, he was going to Tiffany's place, but the police are out there, so he's climbing a fence. Okay. I wonder why he thinks that's a good direction to go. Look, a dumpster. You mean a garbage receptacle? Don't don't say it or else YouTube's going to copyright play. <laughs> I can't remember what the accepted generic is. But it was something no one would ever say. Yeah. In, uh, in England, you call those a skip. Really? Yep. Hold on, my nose Please. is running. I must get a facial to somewhere. To get around. Right, that was a joke. Was... Okay. I was saying that instead of Kleenex. Got it. Got it. Free. Ah! Oh! I mean, that's what would really happen, right? I mean, yeah. I, I don't recommend climbing gutters anywhere, ever. especially in freezing cold New York. No, New York's just falling apart. I got I got stuck to this thing because it's like negative, it's like zero Kelvin out. So <laughs> I put my tongue on it. Move, move you son of a bitch, Kane! I want to see you moving. Yeah, this seems safe. Although, I mean, to be fair, he has fucking superpowers. Why not just go in and like ninja stealth move on those cops? Well, maybe that's what we're gonna do. Climbing on the ledges makes me think of Max Payne again. Alright. I should find an excuse to play that. It had bullet time in it, right? It did. I remember that's what all the like packaging was, was like, bullet time! <laughs> yeah, I think it may have been the first game to use bullet time. I think so. And Bullet name, time! <laughs> I don't know if... Uh, I guess the, the concept originated with John movies, right? Yeah. Oh, well... Did it or was it The Matrix? Well, I think The Matrix... Inspired by John Woo in that, um, but it wouldn't be bullet time; it'd be sword time. Uh, well, no, Neo dodges bullets. Right? No. Uh, yeah, I'm saying the the phrase "bullet time" probably originated with the Matrix, but the concept, oh, okay. the cinematographic trick, not so much. Because I know that uh, Wu did the whole. Uh, 
oh, what do you call it, the three-shot action scene, essentially, but... Uh, in any case, I... What's going on? Are we still climbing fucking fences here? Yeah. I'm not sure how he knows where to go. I mean, except game logic. Well, this is, you know, this is his ex-girlfriend's place. I'm sure he's climbed to find her many times before. <laughs> that that like window leads to Tiffany's apartment. <laughs> if only I could find a way to open it. I know, I could smash my goddamn hand through it. You've got, like, super strength or something. Yeah. Well, what's the point of making this a mini game if you're not going to be able to do it? I think it budged a little. Yeah, it seems unfair. Well, he did say it budged a little. I guess you just have to keep doing this? <sighs> it's open a few inches. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Maybe there's another way around this, but you can just do this if you really want to. I almost had it. Well, this is en enchanting. This is a real thrill to the non-stop action of the window opening scene. Shut the, shut the window. I wasn't too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment Just like a common doesn't criminal, give a but shit I had there. no choice. I hadn't eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak. I had tired. no cares for her heating bill. Always something with you, Kane. It's uh Oh, that seemed like it He had a premonition of looking under the bed. No, I think Extremely Tyler was looking under the bed, wasn't he? The top story today. Oh, with that, the thermometer dropping to a new record low of minus fifteen degrees. Heavy snowfall caused the temporary closing of the Heavy snowfall, bridge. but not sadly, heavy rain. The cold proved fatal for several homeless persons in Harlem and in the Bronx. Europe has not been spared either. Record lows have been registered in numerous countries. Mysterious restaurant murderer has been identified. His name is Lucas Kane, a man with no prior problems with the law. He was able to escape last night just as local police officers arrived at his home to arrest him. Tragically, I... <laughs> his killing spree continues as he took the lives of an old woman and two others in a I wonder if this, uh, this is gonna, like, relieve our tension like watching Ill. the TV the usually does. Photo to the media and oh, I feel better. The TV was relaxing. And for an expert's point of view on the subject, we I think have it's an, today is it, is it a kind of, like, social statement the way that whenever somebody in this game watches TV, they just, like, freeze up? It's like a kitten being grabbed by the scruff. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan rituals. And uh, I wanted to ask you if... A specialist in Mayan civilization? He'd know what Kekniklan means. What? Gotta meet this Professor Kuryakin. Huh. Or, I don't know, we could, like, look it up in an encyclopedia or something? I mean, it's the 90s, so... I mean, there was internet. Yeah, we could go on AOL online and find an Encarta or some shit. Oh, Encarta. I remember Encarta. <laughs> I like how he looks around. Like, come on, Lucas. You would hear somebody coming in. It's like a furtive squirrel. What was the... We had one option that was a snowflake. What, what the hell does that do? Shut the refrigerator. Oh, it's a no snowflake. Yeah, okay. Okay, so now snowflake. Drink out of the carton and put it back. <laughs> I didn't enjoy drinking out of the carton and putting it back like a common criminal. <laughs> Was he eating tuna fish out of a can? What the fuck is... Uh, like some energy powder? This is creepy, Lucas. Like, I thought he was gonna rest here until Tiffany came home, and instead he's just, like, eating her stuff. Pee. It'll make you feel better. Pee. Damn it. That was the pee POV. <laughs> You're in camp. I 
I gotta say, I've seen very little indigo in this game. Yeah. Not sure what about the prophecy is indigo. Haven't seen a single goddamn temperature in Fahrenheit either. Also true. Uh, Hell, we've seen heavy rain in this in this uh, game, but we haven't seen any other things. There was it looked like there was a feather on the floor, and I was like, "Oh, get the feather!" And then I realized that was uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Two. Guess I'm out of danger for now. I'll wait for Tiffany to get back before I leave. Now you're gonna read her mail. Yeah. <laughs> My pictures in all the newspapers. I can be identified by just about anyone in the street now. I'm going to have to be very careful. Where did that photo come from? Uh, Carla took it with her phone while she was talking to him, uh, and he was having a tick vision. Oh, I missed that. It, well, because it didn't happen. Oh. <laughs> His prophecies have all been kind of green, haven't they? Uh, yeah, I guess. Do you think the people who made this didn't know what color indigo was? <laughs> There's an awful lot of pink. You scared me. What are you doing here? The police are looking for me. I needed a place to hide for a few hours. Lucas, what happened to you? The papers are saying that you killed several people. Is it true? The whole thing is very complicated. Just All I can no. tell you is that I am not a murderer. Can you th ever imagine, like, saying, you killed several this. people? Like, it's just not a place you would use the word several. Yeah. Don't hide under the bed, because he's going to look. That's what that premonition was for. Hmm. Instead, quickly paint yourself pink. <laughs> Stand against the wall. What are we going to do? Look... I'm sure they just want to ask you a few questions. Just stay calm, Tiffany, and answer their questions. I'll I'll hide in the apartment. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Stay calm, Tiffany. I think we're alone now. Miss Harper? Miss Harper, Doesn't are you home? Doesn't seem to be anyone yes. around. Just a second. I'm coming. Thank you for yes, going. I can't along keep them waiting anymore. Adventure. I've got to open the door. <laughs> it doesn't look like a good hiding place, but it really doesn't. Like, I can't imagine Miss Harper? he would yes. not just walk Tyler around and see Lucas's ass. I'm there. working on the Lucas Kane case. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? We're involved, yes. But we separated. We broke up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Kane recently? Has he tried to contact you? I went by his apartment day before yesterday to pick up the last of my things. We hardly and spoke. For post breakup I haven't sex, heard from but... him since. Yeah. Do you mind if I look around your apartment? Well, it's just that. Hey, I'll only be Plus, I can play the guitar. Go ahead. You didn't have to let him in. The Constitution no. says. Yeah, but. You know, if you say no, then. You may sound suspicious, but. That's kind of the catch 22 of it. What are you looking for? How how is he how is he hidden now? Doing a little redecorating? Yes, what the apartment that wasn't in very good shape. Is that so for hiding hanging. or for seeking? It's taking a long time with my job. I don't have much time to. And what do you do? I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. Like if you fail that quick time event, he breaks wind or something. Playing both sides of the game here. Yeah. Which one do you want to succeed in this particular? Having Lucas succeed makes a longer story. Yeah. I. I'm very confused by just everything, really. Quick time events to Thank fail at finding anything. Miss. If Kane does try to well, I think he's you, playing Lucas. Right away. Here's my like, card. if he failed, I think he would have made noises or something. He didn't look under the bed. 
Be careful, no, he did. Kane's a very dangerous man. He leaned down, at least. Oh, did he? Yeah. Is that the police chief? Hello. Another guy with a blackened Barney. neck. Detective yeah, Carla another African American you man with a, Janice, isn't that right? a black hole Janice for a neck. Card on the right. Finish. Is she at the asylum? Oh, another power. Uh, for six times a day. Not surprising though with this cold weather. Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. Remember, Janice's cell is down the second corridor. See Janice, of right. course. One of my colleagues is waiting to take I guess I missed some you. important plot point because I don't know who Janice is. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Probably related to the Christian Thank you, Barney. case. I hope we get to meet the Joker. I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer. There was no doubt about that. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten oh, yep. killings. You were correct. So do you think Janus is gonna have, or Janice is gonna have two faces? I hope so. She's just a two-faced bitch. It's a little Salad Tilly in this hallway. I was trying to remember the second line Hello, from detective. Don't Stop Believing there. Here. She was just Perfect. a two-faced bitch <laughs> working at a blah blah blah. This is our like Silence of the Lambs scene, right? Yeah. I feel like this game like sometimes will start a reference and I'm like, I get it, skip to the next scene. <laughs> That's the guy that got possessed to kill, but I have no idea. He survived. We talked all through the explanation of the Christian case. Yes. Hello, I'm so Detective Carla for. Valenti of the New York Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if it's all. Do you have my questions. soup? Could we talk a little about Kirsten? What really happens? I like potato soup. Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, Detective Valenti? I'm mad, you know. As hell. What I have and to I'm say not going is to take it anymore. Meaningless. Isn't that right? That's a dated reference. Maybe it'll make sense to me. Please. What was a dated tell reference? Me that oh, you know. the mad as hell. A man and a woman in a laundromat. Yeah, we're great. Yeah. She's a little I like that he has a UPC Hispanic code on his, his outfit. He has a knife planted in his eye. How do you know that? I was there. I can see through his eye. Where is Teeth Pointy? Every one of them hurts. Yes, he filed them. I am there. Under Teeth Teeth. Who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. He's among us. Invisible. He's everywhere. Jesus. Why is he killing people? He wants to see the other side. He's looking for a little girl. He's been waiting for a long time. He wants her. And will do anything. Like there have been sexy other identical way. murders, haven't there? The killings won't stop until they found the little girl. Why? Why are they killing? Ah, oh, the world's not what you think it is. The Orange Clan has secretly running everything. They're watching us. They say the Orange all Clan. The time. They record what I thought he said say. an orange they clown scribbling. Second of the day, they're everywhere. Let's go with that. <laughs> How is this connected to the murders? They want ultimate power. They want the answer to the question the of life. Ultimate power? I thought they wanted the little girl. That's her name. You know, modern I, I have to go now, uh, Thank you for your help. Fucking Berkeley parents. We're all gonna die from the cold. It'll be the dawn of a new race. The end of humanity. Yeah, I'm out of the serpents. All right, have a good day. <laughs> the end of humanity. 
I'd be okay if that's how this ended. <laughs> Everything go all right? I'll walk you to the... Damn it. This time it looks serious. How does that look serious uh, as compared to the, the last time? electrical times. generator hasn't kicked in. It'll come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. We'll wait here in the meantime. It's totally safe. What's that noise? Oh shit. The cell doors. All of the cell doors have been opened. The electrical outage must have screwed up the auto lock system. Yep, now we gotta fight what? Two Face and Riddler. You mean the patients are free to leave their cells and nothing? Wait. Don't move. Poor Don't asylum patients away. being held they against their will. They're being treated and like the, the, the bad guys. Come on. Relax. Shouldn't her claustrophobia be kicking in here? Yes. Help oh, breathe. Yep, they it is. They got him. I have to move from you, or they'll find me too. If I don't breathe more calmly, I'm gonna faint, and then they get me for sure. Well, oh, fortunately, she was fairly full up on her here. tension no meter. Yeah. So she can probably fail a little bit and still, su still survive. Well, I gotta say, at least with this game, you aren't missing anything by watching what you're doing. Oh no! I hear one coming! He's getting so close! Please, Carla, don't move! Hold your breath. Maybe stop talking out loud. <laughs> He's going away. I can keep moving. I really... I mean, I get that this is probably, like, the criminally insane ward, but still... I'm, I'm kind of annoyed at the portrayal of, like, you know, crazy people equal dangerous. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a long-standing cliche, and I, I'd be just as happy if it ended. Yeah. Because frankly, in this situation, I'm more afraid of his doctors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, historically, they've not treated their patients well. Right. Also, like, I guess we know they're not as bad as Janice, right? Because, I mean, he was all fucking locked down like crazy there. Right. Barney! Barney! Open up! Fife, you son of a bitch! Shut the door again. I guess it. Thank God you made it out. I don't know what the hell could have happened. The auto lock Where? system opened Didn't you all go of in the there with doors. someone? Uh, he's sure. probably fine. Are you sure you're all right? Great, Barney. <laughs> I feel great. I love playing hide and seek in the dark with a pack of psychopathic killers. Oh, uh, man, most of them aren't psychopathic killers. They're just uh, sad, lonely souls. This man I'd barely seen on TV was my last hope. I used didn't know to put people in asylums for not obeying their parents. What had happened to me yeah. and being but troublesome. Point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense. Back in the, the lobotomy days. Yeah. Or for being a woman. Hello. Yes. Uh, I'm a journalist being a lesbian. and I have an appointment mm. with Professor Kuryakin. The professor's waiting for you. Lobotomies don't help that sort of thing. They haven't been proven to yet. <laughs> yes, and there's no longer any experimentation going on, so they're not going to be shown. Feminine figurine found on the Pacific coast of Guatemala. Well, that's really fucking fascinating, Lucas. Let's go talk to the guy you're here to see. All right, get the bonus card, obviously. But... So he's here to see the Aztec expert and talk to him about his Yeah, situation. and hope that the guy isn't like, holy shit, you're that murderer from uh, the newspaper circular altar that was probably used in sacrifices probably Early post classic like we're period. just we're just guessing there it looks like a, a calendar though not like an altar or a rosetta stone like it just seems facade of sacrificial temple origin yucatan it just seems like really lazy uh, uh, guesswork there yeah look at the snake Head of statue representing Itzama, discovered in Chiapas. Look at the snake. Come on. Professor okay, Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. 
I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. You're that killer ah, guy. Yes, I've been waiting for you. Pleased to, to meet you. Uh, what, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? I write for the New York Times. The New York Times is interested in my work. Oh, oh, oh and that makes some of my esteemed colleagues green with envy. All right, fair it's, enough. Uh, it's a bit of going on there. But your face seems familiar to me. Uh, have we met somewhere before? Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. <laughs> well then, let's I uh, maybe over-explain that a bit. Where uh, would you like to stop? Can you tell me anything about Kuwaknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. Oh, he's gonna go show us the snake. Let me show you my snake. <laughs> Kuwaitiglan was the god of the lower intestines. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kuwaitiglan, the serpent with two Aztec. heads. One head seems yes. in this reality, they think they're the, the same second thing. in the other world. By opening both I, mouths, I, I do. the Mayan oracles <laughs> could see through the serpent into the other world. Thoughts. Could you explain this other yep, world? There's another snake behind him. Oh, the world beyond yep. our own. The kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans <laughs> believe that human sacrifices allowed them to hear All right, old man, this is boring. And his his face right there had that like uh, that fry from Futurama meme. What on. exactly do we know about these oracles? Not sure. Oh, if not very something much. or yeah, something yeah, yeah. very mysterious. Uh, they served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. Allowing man to be eaten by and snake and pooped out mouth of snake. Oracles it's kind of gross, actually. Strange powers. What kind of powers did the oracles possess? Some we didn't even get to choose that one. It's the just the last one out of the questions force. we had now. Permitting the oracle to live for several hundred years. Hey, you want to check Tell out how me, I can how do a flip over you and like kick work. you before you know it? Come, I'll show you. Now what's he going to show him? This fresco. That's not a fresco. Serpent, the same shape that I carved on That's my forearms the night of the murder. Frescoes are painted. It's a really phallic. We should be making phallic jokes this about the big phallus in the phallic room. From the oh, first yeah, I imagine. Shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's eggs like must have lasted quite some time. <laughs> the priority being Nobody to wants keep to the talk mouths to open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times. Each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. <laughs> How did the ritual Cutting sacrifice work? Leading to the heart. All Good. The I, it would be weird if it was a pulmonary artery, like connected to the sphincter, right? That is why he <laughs> that would be weird. He sort of proxy. Another, the, not the other sure end is if... totally at random. This person becomes the executor. Fallen asleep. Takes Sorry, what? You fall asleep here. The executor, manipulating him from a distance. He probably wasn't very good in school. What happened to the executor after the sacrifice? Fell asleep during the lecture. He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his part of the ritual. A oh God, sacrifice. I'm so tired. Oh, jeez, I should have got some Z's at Tiffany's. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? But, but that's completely impossible. I killed the last Mayan oracle. Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh. It's the symbol of Kwekmitlan. 
The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing this sacrifice. It looks like those pieces in the back so are just taped on the wall, true. like really big pieces of tape right. holding them up. It does look the like codex it. was right. The codex? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here. And I'll tell you all Just about in. it. Look, I'm I'm going to go dancing oh. first. Uh, you you want to come with? Maybe take a shower. All right. Okay, so I think that's a good time to uh, head uh, head out ourselves. Uh, yes. Because um, yeah, that's enough. Uh, Clexi local look con for the night. I mean, at least like uh, listening to him explain that we didn't have to do quick time events or else fall asleep, you know. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you next time here on OMG. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley and Skixmatics, and we are.